For this video tutorial, we are going to create an intermediate mug or teacup with a handle. We will be using some intermediate tools while, while creating this sketch. So the first thing we are going to want to do is we are going to create our sketch using a front view approach. So going to my view tab, I can find the front of my house and select the front view. From here, I'm going to want to create a rectangle with a width of one and a half inches, comma, by a three inch height, enter. Once you have selected that profile, we can go ahead and select Mike and delete him from our sketch. We can zoom in a little bit to get a better view of our front profile of our teacup. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is round that bottom right hand corner off of our profile. We'll do that by selecting a two point arc from our toolbar, finding the midpoint along the bottom line, clicking, find the midpoint along our right line, click, and then from there, give that bulge 3 sixteenths of an inch. Enter. Once we have created that arced line, we can use our eraser tool to remove the bottom right-hand corner of our teacup. The next thing we will want to do is create the outer walls of our teacup, and we'll do that by using what we call the offset tool, which can be found under the push-pull icon. Once you find the offset, we will want to select the inside and move our mouse inwards. And we're going to go ahead and give this a wall thickness or an offset of 0.25 inches. Once we've created that inner wall, we'll need to extend two lines before removing any of the, of the other lines that we have created. Using my line tool, I'm going to extend that right inner line upwards along the blue axis and I'm going to extend the bottom left end point along the red axis to the outer wall. Once we have done that we can go ahead and remove this upper left hand portion of our sketch. Using the eraser tool I can click on the outside lines and remove any lines that we do not need. Now that we have the outer edge the next step of this is going to be to round off the top corner. We're going to use a two-point arc when doing this. What we'll want to go ahead and do is click on the two endpoints at the top of my sketch, move my mouse upwards, and we'll go ahead and give this a radius of one-eighth of an inch. Select <laughs> Enter to create that top arc. Once we've created that top arc, we can use our eraser tool and erase that line that we have created. The next thing will be to use another tool called the follow me tool. This will actually allow us to take this profile and in a circular motion complete our sketch. We'll go ahead and look at our top view approach and using your circle tool, we're gonna wanna go ahead and find the zero zero origin, making sure that you are on the correct axis. As you can see right now, my sketch is showing me I am on the green axis. If I go ahead and use my, blue, my up arrow, I can actually switch between the blue and the green axis. I want to make sure that I'm following either the blue or the red axis. In this case, the view that we are looking at, the blue would be the best. Once I select once, I'm going to drag my circle out, and I'm going to give that circle a radius of 0.75 inches. The next step is to use my selection tool and select the inside of the circle and use the backspace on your keyboard. That will delete the inside of the circle but still allow for the outside edge to remain. Now that I have the outside of my circle going, what I'm going to use is what we call the follow me tool. This can be found under the offset or the push pull icon. Using the follow me, we can select the outside or the inner portion of our, our, our teacup. And I'm gonna actually move my mouse around the circle until I get back to that original endpoint. If it's done correctly, you'll see that we'll have a three-dimensional mug that is hollowed out in the center. If you have these lines, don't worry about that. It's just the view that we can change at a later time to get a more solid view. Once you have created the teacup, you will create the handle the same way we've done for the basic mug. Looking at the front view approach, what we'll want to go ahead and do is create a few lines somewhere along the blue axis that just extend out 
we can go down and over a little bit to give us some construction lines. Those construction lines, again, will be used to create that circle on the endpoint. Again, if your circle is not on the correct axis, you can use your arrows on your keyboard. In this case, I want to use the red axis, so I'm going to use my right arrow key and select and drag my mouse out. We're going to give my handle a radius of 0.25 inches. Once you have your circle, we're going to go back and create that, that arc that we have before, like just like we had before in our basic mug. So using my two-point arc, I'll find the center point of my circle. Okay, I'm going to go straight down with this and make this two and three-sixteenths of an inch. Enter. And then for the actual bulge of my circle along the red axis, we're going to want to make sure that that is one and a half inches. We're going to go back to my follow me tool, select the circle, and drag that around the handle. And once you get to the end point, go ahead and select. Once we have that handle made, we're going to go back and delete those construction lines that we created. Now that we actually have this, our handle created, we'll go back to our front view approach and triple click on my handle. I'm going to go down to my move tool and select somewhere on the handle. Maybe move that down just a hair. Click, click again, and move it in. As you see, once I get there, just doesn't look like that handle is going to work for me. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to rotate that handle just a little bit in order to get that to work correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and triple click on that handle again, and we're going to look for a rotate tool. Under the move tool, you'll see that we have this rotate. And when we select rotate, I want to find the front of that handle and click. And then I can actually go ahead and rotate that handle just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to have my starting point start off flat here right along that red axis. And as I move, you can see that it should adjust. Now right there, that's a pretty good movement right there. Okay, we're looking at that. It's about a 10.8 degree angle that I'm moving by. And you can go back and adjust this at a later time if you want. I'm going to go back to my move tool. And it looks like I might have to select and move it down just a little bit again. And I'm going to click, and then I can go ahead and move that in until it just disappears. Take a look on the inside, make sure it's not protruding through. And again, we can go back and do a quick triple click, go back to my paint bucket. Let's find a color that we like. Maybe we want to go back and triple click on the handle. And again, we can add a different color this time. And give it a little bit of a different look. Remember, there are different materials that you can use, but this is going to be the easiest way to create your intermediate mug with handle or teacup using some very basic tools.